Hello, and today I'm going to do a bit of a demo, my lovely Canva demo, showing you how you can do multiple um, changing chain, oh, get my words together. <laughs> I'm going to show you how you can apply the same colors and fonts to multiple pages. And this is particularly good if you are uh, wanting to apply these same colors and fonts to a multi-page document like a worksheet or it could be something like a presentation and this is something that came up um, in the lovely Canva crew facebook group um, by one of our members carol seward who was asking like is it is there a possible way to change lots of pages so that you're not sort of doing it manually and at the time I was like I, I don't know I just assumed that you would have to go in there and change each page to the colors and fonts that you need but it turns out there's a tool within Canva called styles that allows you to change multiple pages to your uh, colors and fonts so I'm going to show you how you can do that there are some limitations between pro versus free so we will talk about that um, so for those that are on, on the uh, free version of Canva it will mean a little bit more work but hopefully this will show you how you can um, save a little bit of time at least on the colors point of view so I'm going to share my screen and uh, Hello to uh, Paul, who's watching <laughs> this live. Um, right, let's have a look. So go to Canva, bear with. Okay, so within here, um, and I'm just gonna hide a banner on StreamYard. There we go, there's a bit more space. Doing a bit of multitasking here. So let's go and take a presentation and um, we can just pick one of the templates. Um, it doesn't really matter. Let's pick, let's pick this one here and apply all 25 pages. So we've got, after it's loaded, so you can see we've got 25 pages, we've got this followed up. Now say, for example, I want to make this branded to my brand. Um, what we need to do is go to styles. Now, if you don't have this styles tab, and when I've been um, poking about in the free version, because I have another, um, an account that sometimes I can just check, what, what can you do in free versus pro? But day to day, I'm using pro. So if you don't see it in the tab like this, don't worry, just scroll down to more and it might be hidden away there. So it is there. Um, that's what I found when I was in the the, um, the free version, when I was having a look at this uh, thing. So you can see here at the top, there's the brand kit um, and it's picking up um, the, the fonts used and my brand colors and then another palette that I've got here. So if we just go to brand kit a minute, you can see I've got all of this set up. Uh, because I've got the pro version. So I've got, you know, a couple of palettes and I've got the font set up. So if we go back to here, so you could apply any of these other palettes. So if you were wanting to have a little play, see what works. So I could change it to this one here. And if I click on that, that has just applied it to this one page. So you can see here at the bottom in this sort of these little thumbnails that it's only done changed it to that one page. So if I undo, you can see the difference. It's applying the styles of that. You can also click apply to all pages. So this is this will work if you've got the uh, free version. So you can use one of these curated um, uh, sort of styles with the, the, the color palette and these fonts and pick something that works. So if you happen to see something that is the same as your fonts that you use, then that's great. And you can obviously, you could then change the color afterwards. So say I like these, these font pairings, I could then change it to, um, to my brand kit one and apply to all pages. Now, the problem is, is that, um, because I've got a swirly font called, it's, it's one that I've uploaded, it's called Diamore and it's the, the swirly bit within my logo, the lovely bit. <laughs> um, if I use that throughout, it might be a little bit, this is where it depends on, you know, it, it's, not, it's not perfect. So if I apply that to all pages, 
I would probably still need to go through and make sure that um, I pick and choose and decide what um, I remove from having that swirly font, because we can see here that's not really working very well. As we sort of click through, it's not so much of an issue in some places, but you would need to make sure that it's all readable. Um, so if I apply my lovely brand colors and click apply to all pages, so suddenly we've gone from a very yellow looking um, and a, the, the original template to something that is a bit more on brand. So there is, it's not foolproof. You still do need to do a bit of uh, work. Um, so do sort of keep that in mind, um, but do make sure that you, you know, th this is just a really great thing that you can do. Now you could do the same if we, if you had, for example, um, lots of, uh, designs. So, for example, what I've done is created some um, post templates, particularly in stories. Um, and I think I've got this one here where, okay, that's my one page one. Uh, lovely story. So, this is where I've got 43 pages, some that I've started styling up and using. If we click on this little tab here with the grid view, um, you can see all of them some of them i've used and some of them i've just you know that got ideas that i'm going to brand up myself at a future time it's a future me problem so if i make a copy of this because i don't want to destroy <laughs> what i've done there but for the purpose of demonstrating that you don't need to use this styles thing and applying to multiple pages just to a presentation Yes, that seems an obvious place to, to use it. But say you were creating some um, templates um, or, or wanting to you know, create some posts or stories and you're like, okay, well, let's do a batch of them. So if you're doing it for yourself or for a client, um, what you can do is bring in these different pages. So like if I take um, another one here um, and do like the Happy Earth Day, for example, so if I then go into the styles and do the same principle where let's apply the brand colors and you can see that that's now changed that. So if I undo and redo. So again, you may decide that that's, that doesn't quite work, you know, because you haven't really got any decision making over like what changes, but certainly you can kind of go back in and, and update that. So if I click that and then, um, Oh, we can shuffle that. So I clicked on that again, and it decided a different um, combination of those colors. So that's sort of good to know. Um, let's have a go in the presentation. So on this page, I'm not really loving that. So if I click shuffle again, ah, that looks rather, rather good. <laughs> it looks a lot better because there's a higher contrast between the lighter color and uh, the darker text there if we sort of scroll in. Um, while we're here actually, just a quick, my own bugbear as a designer, don't use these swirly fonts like this um, all in caps. I see it a lot and I can see why people might do it. Um, but if you've got something like that that's swirly, make sure you turn it off and you also need to remove this extra letter spacing. Um, and that will make it flow. So can you see how difficult that is to read with all of it caps? Because it's all so swirly whirly, um, same for like hand, very handwritten fonts. You need to be able to read it. And these sorts of fonts aren't really geared up to looking good when you've got it all in caps. So this is where you would want to go in and um, make sure it's all upper and lower case and remove that extra spacing. With this being in um, my other font, I used um, Montserrat. So if I change that to Montserrat and looked at it, that looks good. That looks good with the, the kind of a bit of extra spacing. You could make it wider or slightly smaller, um, but it's got a, you know that kind of feel. Um, even if we went into sort of Montserrat the light, I think there is a light somewhere, but. But yeah, so just a quick aside of a top tip uh, when it comes to swirly whirly font, don't have them all in caps because it just doesn't work. So yeah, so back to this one. So I can sort of scroll through and decide, I think out of all of them, that probably works. Um, let's click apply to all pages. 
and it takes a little while to sort of think about it. And we can see it's starting to apply to most things. I think there are some pages where um, maybe there's some image here. So if we go there, yeah. So this one, they can't style it up because it's it's got a photo there, but we could make it on brand by using sort of one of the filters there or, um, or just making it black and white one of the black and white ones. If in doubt, you know, make it black and white. And the same, I think, is this one has not applied it. Um, so that again, this one, because that looks like that's an image behind, so you would need to use um, sort of one of the, uh, the sort of filters. You could use the adjust and, um, do a bit of toggling that about and increase brightness or picking a different background in general. So, um, so yeah, so if we go back to this one and let's have a look at the, um, the thumbnails and we can kind of look at the sort of before and after. So let's see. So on, on some of them, so this one here, it's not changed it up again, because that is a, um, an element that can't be changed the color. And so it may be the case with this one as well. So you can see there are limitations um, and I can sort of change it up. So let's have a look and see um, what other ones um, I might want to do. So with that one, let's click on that and try shuffling the colors because there's some elements that's not being seen so it's not perfect but it's a really great way of um, applying lots of colors at the same time as i said um, you won't have that feature of being able to change it to your brand fonts if you've got the free version of canva but you could um, start by applying sort of one of these other um, curated styles um, and hopefully find one that has got at least one of your fonts um, and I've just seen a, a comment from Paul again who doesn't like the old shuffle yeah well it's Friday today so <laughs> a bit of dancing <laughs> maybe my crap joke yay <laughs> so yeah so um start with sort of looking at the fonts from that point of view and then um, and then change the colors and make sure to apply to all pages if you want and shuffle it about. So let's stop sharing. So thank you so much for watching with me. I uh, hope you found that useful. If there's something that you would like me to do a little lovely Canva demo on, uh, whether it's to do with sort of a design example or something very specific to a Canva tool, then please comment below, let me know or post in the lovely Canva crew Facebook group. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye.